It's summertime in Australia. It's 34 degrees today, and when it gets so hot, all we want to do is laze around in air conditioning, watching TV, going to air conditioned galleries, and going to swimming holes and beaches. So we sometimes we lose our technique just a little bit. I really want us to keep up our technique so we can go into next year with a bang and be stronger than ever. So I'm making a series of videos this week for you to hone your technique with me every day and we can come back stronger. These are for you. Okay, neck isolations and stretches. So let's start off with a little bit of a stretch. Take your right shoulder to your right ear or the other way. And then we're going to slowly roll it around. Paying attention to your breath. Lifting through your chest as you go back. Pushing down with your shoulders. Let's go the other way. Any sore spots you can kind of like just hang out there for a little bit. Iron it up. Alright, bringing your back, your neck back. <laughs> Let's look to the side. Side. In. Side. In. Hit that beat nice and strong. Take it up. And down. Up and down, up and down, up and tilting, ear to your shoulder. Let's try not to move our bodies. And you don't have to go as far as I'm going. You can just go like here. This is warming up our neck after all. Okay, it's not a competition. Let's stretch again. Just shoulder to shoulder. Let's go the other way. Lifting our chest as we go back. Imagine there's a fishing wire hooking us from the sternum. Nice. Now we're going to go out and in with our neck. When we go in, I want that double chin. That's it. Okay, ready? So out and in with the neck. Try not to move your body. Out. In. Out. Ready? Double time. Beautiful. We go this side. In. Side. In. Using your eyes. In. Side. Side to side. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Try not to move this body. Try to go directly to the side. Double time. And double time. Look into the ocean. Look up at the sky. Look at the ocean. Look at the sky. Okay, in a diamond. Ready? We go. It's getting tricky. So we're going forward, side, back, side, forward, side, back, side. Again, forward, side, back, side. One more, forward, side, back. Smooth it out. Try not to move your body. Stay lifted in your sternum. Let's go the other way. Forward, side, back, side, forward, side, back, side, forward, side, back, and round. Hey, you got it. Let's stretch it out now. We're just gently using the weight of our hand. You're not pulling. <laughs> Let's go the other side. Float your head over to the other shoulder and just use the weight of your arm to stretch your neck. Grounding down with this hand and this shoulder. So nice and opposite. We feel a nice big stretch through here. Ooh. Knitting your hands together behind your head. And now we're going to open up through our elbows, open up through our chest, looking up at the ceiling. We're trying not to clench through our lower back. Beautiful. Let's use our shoulders. So we're going to bounce them. That's it. Now make sure you're bouncing your shoulders, not your elbows. That's a pretty good chicken dance, but no. This is definitely what you need if you want to dance Bollywood style. You need some shoulders. 
down, on the beat, down, two, three, four. Hold your arms nice and still, nice and strong through your hands. Beautiful. Let's dip our hands in different cups of water. So imagine it, we've got three cups on either side, one in the front, one in the middle, and one in the back. Here we go. So we're gonna go forward and back and forward. Let me show you on the side. Forward and back and forward. Let's make sure we're not starting to use our elbows and keeping our hands away from our body. The amazing Juanita Sirs showed me this one. I love it. Make sure we're not leaning forward like this, keeping our body nice and straight so it's an isolation of our shoulder. You got it. Okay, let's give our shoulders a bit of a rest. Oh, shake it out. Love it. All right, let's use our shoulders and we're going to hit opposites. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's it. One, two, three. Being Salman Khan dance. Good job. Let's go in three. This day. This day. Nice. Then two, three, and four, five, and six. Let's use our chest. Forward, turn, back, and. Let's make it a little bit more simple. Let's go forward, middle, back, middle. Good job. Forward, middle, back. Cut out the middle. Excellent. Going forward and back. You can see your heart beating. And going side and side. Side and side. Side and side. Nice. When we're going side to side, we want to make sure we're going direct side. We're not using our shoulders here because that's a little bit overdoing it. We're not dipping. Okay, we're going directly to the side. Beautiful. I'll show you another exercise for this in a later video to really get those chest isolations on point. Okay, let's go backwards to our diamond. Ready? So with our chest, we're going to go forward. Good job. Side. Out. Back. And side. And forward. Side. Back. Side. Forward. Side. Back. I like to round my elbows a little bit so I've got a nice frame around my body and so I've got control of what my arms are doing. Double time. Two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, one. Two, three, four. Whoa, you're keeping up? Good job. Smoothing it out. Round, back, round. Here's the challenge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Other way, forward, side, back. Good job, side, double touch. Two, three, four, one, two. Okay, if you're finding this really tricky, chest isolations are the hardest to get the control of. Awesome, let's move it out. Back, forward, back. Focus on what your arms are doing, they might be doing something really weird right now. Let's go double time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job. Okay, let's do a little arm. Okay, we're gonna take our hands out to the sides. Awesome, we're gonna wipe the windows. Little circles. We're hitting down on the beat. Make the circles nice and tight. That's it, good job. So I'm going forward at the moment towards you guys. <laughs> Let's reverse it. Beautiful. Okay, now that we've warmed up through this area, a little bit through our shoulder rotators, we're going to warm up through our elbow joints. Okay, we're going to go under. One, two, so all the way, all the way around. Excellent. Double time. One, two, three. Finish clean. Excellent. Keep going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So when I'm doing this one, I'm turning it towards me, palm up, and then bringing it underneath so it finishes palm down. Now when we go the other way, it's the opposite. So underneath, palm comes up, and it ends out. Turn it, and then out. What's really important is to not drop your elbows as you do this 
because then you're gonna do way too much and we're not building up these muscles over here. I know, is it hurting? I'm sorry. Ready, <laughs> let's keep going. Six, five, six, nice and slow. One, stop, two, stop. And hands are up, palms are up, like what? That's it, drop and up, drop, up. Ready, double time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Give me one more set. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, we get to stretch out our arms. What a wonderful reward. So make sure you're pulling this arm back. You feel the stretch in your shoulders. Oh. Other side. Awesome. Let's take our elbow back. So right elbow back, pushing down. Over the back of our shoulders. Oh yeah, I got one more. Let's go left elbow. Fabulous, let's just take our hands. We're gonna knit our fingers behind our back. Pull back. Oh, I can really feel that stretch in the front of our shoulder joint. It's the cataracts. Sorry, you don't have to do that bit, but you can. And we're just going to knit our hands together and roll through our back. It's kind of like a cat cow. Oh, I feel refreshed. Okay, so we've done neck, shoulders, chest, we're moving down, let's do hips. Okay, often people use a lot of their knees when they use their hips, okay? We want to make sure we're using our glute and like some of our obliques over here. We've got to use our lower abs. We've got to use all of this around our hips, not just our knees and our bones, okay? So let's start off with dunkers. It's Bollywood after all. So we're going to keep our right foot in front, slightly on the toe, so we've got an increased range of motion. Keep the knee bent at all times and we're gonna squeeze up, down, up, down. We don't want to move our knee too much. Up, down, that's it, good job. Down, up, down, up, down, up. Stopping there, let's look at our supporting leg. This is our supporting leg. We wanna make sure that this knee is very slightly bent as well so it's supporting us nicely in our muscles, okay? Sometimes as dancers, we can be flexible and we have a tendency to do this. We don't want to do that. Okay, ready? Let's go double time. Down. Two, three, four, five. Ooh, I can squeeze my butt. I can feel it in my butt. I mean, I can squeeze my butt. We can all squeeze our butt. Let's go up. We're gonna go up, 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 up. Do you feel your obliques working? Your abs? Let's go double. If you're just starting, Sometimes we need to use our hands to do doubles. Let's change it over. Woo. Make sure this supporting knee is slightly bent. This one's lifted up. We're gonna go down, 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 down. Squeezing your butt. Two, using your hand if it helps. We're going double. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good, okay, now we're gonna up. Up. Jumpers are the key to Bollywood. Up. Double time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Beautiful. Oh. Okay, let's bend our knees slightly. Make sure our feet are in parallel position. So two straight lines, they're never going to connect. Knees should be directly over feet. So you should see your big toe or the side of your shoes if you're wearing shoes. And, and the center of our kneecap over our second toe. That's where our line of gravity is. If your feet are too wide, bring them a bit in. Okay, keep bending your knees. This is gonna feel a little strange, so we're gonna go side, middle, side, middle. Oh, on the right. In. 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 And as much as possible, we're trying not to overuse our knees to get it. So squeeze, squeeze. Nice. Okay, and we're going side to side. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, and nice. <laughs> you got this. Okay, we're going to get into my favorite hip thrust. In, in, forward, and in. Sorry, I meant forward, in, back, in, forward, in, and twerk. Cut out the middle. One, in, two, and three, and ready. Double time. And try not to enjoy it too much. Hey, in a diamond. Back, side, forward, side, back. Make sure the rest of your body isn't coming for a ride. Okay, Five. back, side, double time. Hey. Side, back, side, foot, side, back, side, foot, side. And now let's stretch out our lower back. Forward, side. So touching every single one of those corners, that side, that, 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 side, that, foot, side, and side, double time. Go one, and two. Still touching every corner, really warming up through our hip joints. Nice. We're going to go double time. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four. Now pay attention to what your arms are doing. If they're doing something a bit weird, <laughs> give them something to do. Like stir the pot. Okay, ready? We're going to do Beyonce. Good, let's go. Side, back, side, forward. Side. Make sure your knees are still bent. Forward, side, back, side, double time. Go. Three, four, five, six, seven. Hey. And rest. Forward, back, forward, rest, forward, rest. Double time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's be on stairs. Stretch out our feet. So we're just tapping our foot in front of the other foot. And tap, and tap. Good job. Okay, we're going to take this into a jump. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Double time. Go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice. Let's prance through our feet. Prancing has such a bad reputation, but all prancing is, is coming up all the way onto the tips of your toes, so you can really feel all of your foot moving. Switch it over. It's stretching, stretching, stretching your feet. Your feet are just like your hands, or they could be. It's preparing your feet to catch your weight. Let's do a little jog. Oh no, I got sweat in my eye. And this happens every day at class. I swear, then I look like I'm crying. Let's take our opposite hand to opposite knee, all right? We're cross body patterning, brain patterning. But we're gonna do it with more energy, ready? Five, six, seven, go. <laughs> I can feel the mic pack bouncing, it's weird. Okay, little jog. Poor Mike Pack. All right, let's finish it off. We're finishing strong with 30 star jumps. Let's go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 30. Wait, I forgot to count. Four, five, six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty. 29, 30. Have a moment of celebration. You did it. You are warm. Let's stretch. So legs nice and wide apart. Lift it all the way up. Stretch it over. We want to make sure our hips not bopping casually to the side. We're not doing like the hoochie slide. We're staying stuck in the mud through here. 
So imagine you're between two thin walls and now try and relax as much as possible. We're reaching out towards our corner. So keeping our back flat, knees straight. So it's okay if your corner is here. We don't want your corner to be here and we're tensing through our neck and, and arching through our spine. We want a straight flat back. Over your leg. Nose to knee, so looking at your knee, I don't literally mean your nose should be touching your knee. But if it does, good on ya. Great job. Lovely. Big deep breaths. We're gonna bend our back knee. Bend our back knee. We should feel this in our inner thigh, in our groin, in our adductors. I like to lean my elbow here. That helps me feel it a bit better. Keep this one knee bent and tracking over our toes. You guys are doing amazing. Let's go into the center. Now, check in with your weight. If it helps, if you're in bare feet, lift up your toes. So lift up your toes. You'll feel your weight reshift. So as you're waiting your back heel, see if you can even it out between the front and back of your foot. Pulling yourselves in a little bit, relax through your neck, do a little yes, no. Awesome, we're gonna turn our toes out to the side. Here, we want our knees to be right above our ankles. We're just using our hands to open through our hips, okay? So it can get really, really tight in our hips. I use my elbows because I'm that flexible, but it's okay, everyone's flexibility is different, not a competition. Let's use our right hand. So we're increasing the stretch on our right side. Breathe. Left side. Center. We're just going to walk our feet in. Toes, heels, toes, heels, toes, heels. We're gonna bend our knees. Take a big stretch. Bend again and slowly roll up. Oh, so sweaty, but let's do the other side. Taking it up and over. Out to the corner. Keeping your neck long, so don't crane to look at the video even though I'm talking at you. It's okay, just listen. You can't even see my lips right now. Or can we? Over our leg. So your nose should be looking at your knee. Checking where your weight is. We're not sitting back into our heels. Nice and even through our foot. We're gonna bend our back knee. So remember this is for our adductor, it's our inner thigh. Awesome, we're gonna to come to the center. Pull yourself in just a little bit. Walk it in, 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 in. We're gonna come up halfway. Hello. Coming into the center. Let's slowly push through our feet and roll it up. Thank you for warming up with me, dancers. Now that you're all warmed up, you can turn on the music and just groove. Feel yourself, do some of your own moves, do whatever you like. Or if you would rather be told what to do, I've got you covered. Jump on to some of my tutorials and learn some of my choreo, please. I would love it. And come back every single day this week because we have so many more techniques to cover to keep your dancing fresh for 2019. See you soon.